So what's happened guys, my name is Hybrid Graphic, and today I'll bring a part 2 to my Become a Basic Designer series, a series which will be helping um, new people to graphics get better at it, I guess, in a short amount of time. So I want to start this off by saying um, Merry Christmas, since this will be uploaded straight on Christmas, and we're going to get right into it. So if you haven't viewed part one, I suggest you do, unless you know what I'm doing currently. If you do not know what I'm doing, then go to part one, which will be in the description. So yeah, let's get right into it. So we got the basic text that we created, which is, you can see the little bits of gloss, a little bit of shadowing, and if you think there's not enough shadowing, then you're going to take come over here take the brush go to a soft brush bring it up a bit change this to black make a new layer and you're just gonna color now it may not look good at all right now but in a bit I will show you how it looks So obviously you do a much better job so then you're gonna right click the layer that you use to blacken whatever create clipping mask you can see it still doesn't look good either you can take the opacity down a bit play around with opacity or go to overlay and then take the opacity down which I think looks much much better and when you're done with that you're gonna right click this and merge it down with it so then it's just one layer which makes it much easier so for this part two we're going to be we're looking at creating this text making it look better in photoshop adding different textures and if you don't have any textures i suggest you go download a few graphics packs or pick up a few online buy download mine from different or various graphic packs out in the YouTube community. So I have all my textures ready. I have quite a few. So let's just do something random. Um, not sure what to use currently. We'll look. Let's just browse through quickly. Not sure what to go for in this one. A grungy look or nice metal. Let's try a little bit of grungy look to it. So let's place one of these textures on here. And if it's not big enough, you're going to have to expand it out, obviously. Place. Then rasterize the image by clicking on it with this. And it'll just rasterize. So when it's rasterized, you want to right click it, create clipping mask, and from here on you want to change the blending mode, which is these, to overlay, and you'll get a nice look right there. It looks kind of rocky, I guess. Um, and you can take the opacity down to make it look as much as you please. But to make these texts look way better, you're going to want to add quite a few different types of textures just to make it look more original because if you just add oh my god that's a tiny image that was a tiny image but anyways back to this so yeah just add different types of textures if you want up to you really how many textures whatever you like like when you find a good when you find that it looks really good then that's when you're basically done with the text so you want to click on this hold shift click the text and merge the layers this way you can move it around freely as you want so that's not all we're able to do. We can add gradients. We can add the same effects we did to the 2D. Your choice, really. 
add that nice glow effect, make the size of it bigger, and then come up to the blend mode and turn it into overlay, and you can see that it takes a, puts a little light on the side of the text. And then inner shadow, you can still add inner shadow, come up here normal, change it to white. It's actually coming, make it come in from this side. The size, let's take it down. As you can see, it added that extra gloss to the top. Ooh, that actually looks pretty good, to be honest. And I don't think he, he could finish there. I don't know. He can add as much as he wants. There's so many effects he can add. Like creating a new layer. And then just clicking on that. You'll create a box here. You can just create clipping mask, turn it to overlay, and take it down a bit. And it looks like there's a gloss on it, but it doesn't look like that now because there's very grungy textures on here. So it doesn't really look like a gloss. But if we like. One minute. So we're going to redo this all up again. If we place this down again. So we're done with this grungy one. If you place this down again, you're going to want to double click, radiant, put it down to overlay, take this down so that the bottom doesn't look too black. Make a new layer. I may have to pause it soon, quickly, just for a few minutes if someone walks in. Select, deselect, and create clipping mask. Put an overlay on it. Take it down a bit. And as you can see, it looks like there's some type of light coming down on there. Type of box light, I guess you can say, above it, which creates this gloss on it. You can create the gloss in Cinema 4D also, but you're going to have to use a really big box light, whatever. So, how much time we have? We have quite a lot of time actually. Um, so, so just experiment with the Cinema 4D text and all. So, there's also another effect I want to show you quickly. It is when you duplicate the text, you come up to filter, stylize, and find edges. And I'll make this white look. Now that looks horrible right now, but if you come up to image adjustments, invert it, and then turn it to screen. It looks like there's some type of Tron type of gloss or some type of thing like that. But you can play around with that, take the opacity down as much as you want, as much as you prefer really. And you can merge it down too after. And now we'll create this text that you can do what you please with. So I guess we're going to be working with this text, so we're going to save it, save it as PNG, and basic, edited. So point three, I guess I'm going to be working more towards putting these on backgrounds and adding stuff, but since we have a good, I'm not sure, five minutes, I guess, we're going to close this up now. We're going to open a new file. Okay. So, so, let's try out some 2D text, I guess. For those who don't like using 2D, taking a nice professional, let's work towards a more professional looking 2D text than I did before. 500 looks a bit too big. Also, my apologies if it looks like my computer is going extremely slow. 300 is good. Let's look for a very thin text. I mean, those look the best when it comes to creating a 2D background. So. Also, what you want to do when you're doing working with 2D backgrounds is make all these capitals that's really up to you to be honest but it looks very good when the capitals 
Let's go for something more. Not sure how to say it. I don't know. So, let's do what we did last time, I guess. Overlay. Clean this up a bit. So, inner shadow, normal. This is my absolute favorite way to create a professional text would be using the inner shadow and inner glow. Drop shadow. Now, with a shadow, you can create something that looks more professional, I guess. You take the size all the way down, you'll have this nice text. Now, we have a good three minutes, so let's bring this up. Let's change the text around. So, when it comes to making 2D backgrounds, you want to really make it look good. So, let's change the text up. Change even the color up to itself. Let's quickly do this. Make it exactly like this, except with different color, I guess. No, blue doesn't look good. That looks good. So, in a glow, let's make the size a bit higher. Make that an overlay. Take it down a bit in the shadow. Normal white. Passive, take that down. Take the passive down. Drop shadow. Take the sides down. Pass the up. And then when you put something like this on a background, you obviously have a different text with me, but um, it'll look extremely good. You want to like play around with stuff. Use the pen tool to make a nice little line. Um, nice line under it. Change this to somewhere around. Let's change it to two. Stroke pen. Delete pen. Um, here we go. Actually, instead of making that black, it'd be look way better if you make it white. Okay, we have a good minute. Now let's make this a good 15 I guess, put it down here, creating basic text, And as you can see, that's all we have basically for this. So you just play around with all the text you make. Um, the possibilities are endless. Once you clear one part of your brain out, creativity will instantly fill it. So use that creativity to the best of your ability and create something very nice that you like. If you like it, then it's no doubt that other people will like it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Point three will be will be out in maybe a few days. Not sure, depending. So, peace.